All right, so this is what she's looking like. Honestly, she looks like skin. She looks like skin, okay? all about Aaliyah B. You already know what it is and you already know what it ain't. What it is is we are number one. What it ain't is we ain't number two. So today I am going to be reviewing, not really reviewing, but I'm going to be trying out the things I bought uh, to make sure it works on my skin. Now, I don't typically do like makeup videos because it's not really my thing. I think me making them is pretty boring. Like, I don't like make, I don't like editing them. I don't like making them. But I do think it's really important for me to make this video for my oily, for my oily skin girls. Um, especially if you have textured skin, acne prone skin. I do want to go ahead on and try these products out for you guys. So we use. What are we trying to say? What are we trying to say? I want to go ahead on and try these products out for you guys so you guys can know if they work for your skin or not. Now, I do have super oily skin. I'm a grease pot, point blank period, and I do have acne prone skin. And I also have a lot of texture, which you guys probably noticed from my other videos I've posted that are really up close and personal. So I already primed my skin using the L'Oreal... Paris Infallible Matte Lock and I used a Farsali Liquid Powder that's what that looks like and then I also used a Farsali Skin Tune Blur go ahead on and focus on it whatever so I am going to keep my priming stuff, like everything that I normally do to prep my skin for a foundation look or a beat look, I'm going to keep it the same because I don't think I should switch things around to see if a product works. The products that we are going to be trying out today is the Milani, I can't talk today guys, the Milani uh, Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. Boom. I'm going to be using the Ease Drops Blur and Skin Tint by Fenty. I'm using this in the color 18. I'm going to be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color 10. Then I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream in the color medium is that upside down yes that is that's what that looks like and last but not least we are going to be using the face and body bronzer glamour bronze by morphe in the color trail blazer and that is what she looks like so i'm gonna start by putting like just two lines on one side of my face and we're going to blend from there. Oh, come on. I'm going to be using my beauty blender. It's damped, of course. Would I have it anyway? Now with this, I'm not really looking for like a full coverage. So you are going to be able to still see like some acne scars. My mole, of course, right here. You're going to be able to see it. Okay. I probably put a little bit too much on the half side of the forehead, but whatever. If you guys noticed but i didn't really touch under my eye area um that's just a little technique that i've been doing because i don't know i just been doing i just started doing that and honestly i feel like 
my under eye concealer lasts way longer than it normally does when I just don't layer up the product. All right, so this is what she's looking like. Honestly, she looks like skin. She looks like skin. Okay. I really like the way this looks. And guys, for a while now, I have been struggling with finding my shade. So I'm actually pretty darn, uh, I'm pretty dang going impressed by this color match. Cause I was really worried that I would have to like go warmer, which I didn't want to do. And I also didn't want to mix shades because who wants to mix shades? Not me. So I'm pretty glad to have a shade that is so close to my skin color. Now I do like to put my makeup on him. I do like to put my makeup on in sections because a long, long time ago, I heard it on the radio. I'm just kidding. But a long time ago, I, for some reason, used to have like really patchy makeup. And I have really patchy makeup because I like to use mattifying foundation. And using mattifying foundation, I used to spread it all over my face, put a drop up here, drop down here, drop down here. And then I, of course, would blend it out. And by the time I get to certain parts of my face that I'm trying to blend out, it'd be dry. So I end up having like a really patchy face. So that's why I just started doing this in sections. And I find that I like it more in sections. Y'all, <laughs> look at this, look at this. I like the way this looks now granted I do have a fire uh I do have a fire skincare routine um, I will show you guys once I really get in the swing of it because I just started doing it like this week but honestly I have seen a drastic improvement in my skin so that could play a huge part in what what we got going on oh so I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into this this is my first time using like a cream contour or whatever you want to call it. So I am pretty nervous about doing this, but you guys are somewhere. So I'm using the color medium. I'm just gonna, ooh, ooh, she's creamy. Oh yeah, she's very creamy. So I'm not gonna go too much in. I'm just gonna put like two dots, like boop, 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 boop. Okay. Okay, this is this is when I gotta go. That gotta come off. I'm gonna pull this back, and we're going to I'm gonna put some dots on the forehead. Not not too much, you know. And we're gonna go ahead on and get that jawline. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but your girl only like tapped in this like I only tapped in this and I was able to cover that amount of space so we are off to a very very good start so I'm going to blend this out with the real techniques beauty blender mine is really beat up but I just realized I just used two beauty blenders to like do my whole face let's go ahead and uh, blend this out with the beauty blender that I was not going to use, but okay. Aaliyah. I like that. I, okay. Guys, I'm really liking this. Okay, stop Aaliyah. You're doing too much. Mm, that's how you get that. All right. I honestly like it. Um, this is about as good as gonna get it. Cause I ain't gonna do too much. Cause when you start doing too much, you start looking like a hot mess. So we're gonna keep 
yeah we're gonna keep that real simple for now so for my under eye i'm gonna use what i always use which is tarte double duty beauty in the color deep i always use this color so hold on Ooh -hoo. First, I'm gonna get the mustache. No, I'm just gonna. I don't think I'm gonna use this for a mustache. Uh, gotta get the mustache. Gotta get the mustache. Alright. I'm going on with the real techniques. So, when doing my under eyes, I do like to bring the concealer all the way up to like my lower lash line because I don't put eyeliner on my lower uh, lash line. I do like the way it looks without any liner on it. I don't know. It just gives me like a really clean, sleek look, especially when I do like my wing eyeliner. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. So, yeah. Okay. Yo, my skin looks amazing. So like I said before, we are to keep everything that we normally use within our prep routine, we're gonna keep it the same. So after I am done with, you know, the creams and stuff like that, I do like to go out with my Morphe and I like to spray my face down. It's optional. If you don't wanna do this, don't do this. All right not too much just a little bit so i like to use the real techniques uh powder sponge it looks like this like it's really soft it looks like i don't know velcro what do you want to call it or i don't know velvet it looks like velvet not velcro and it's like super soft so i'm gonna go on my huda beauty Can kanapa easy loose Easy bake, loose bacon, and setting powder. I totally messed it up, but y'all know what the heck I meant. This is what it looks like. Boom. And this is the color that I got. This I do have the Laura Mercier one, but um, I don't know. I just really been enjoying like, you know, who is powder. So I like to tap like this. Boop boop, and I blow some off, cause um. One thing I will say, this picks up a lot of powder. And I like to set. I don't bake, I set. I feel like I have like the maximum results when I set instead of bake. All right, this is a hot mess, okay. Now, I know you guys are wondering, like, girl, why did you not put concealer and contour on the rest of your face? Because that's just not my cup of tea, okay? I'm just here for a long time. Not really a good time. No, that makes sense. I'm just here for a long and good time, okay? I ain't here to impress nobody. And honestly, don't know that. And for me, dog. So, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with what works for me. I'm gonna go in with my Glamour Bronze Bronzer by Morphe, and I got the color Trailblazer. So, if you guys saw my Ulta haul, I was complaining about the Fenty color and the color Coco Nati, and this is what they look like together. Honestly, they almost look like the same. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one has like a little bit more red in it, which is honestly what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead on and swatch these on my hands so you guys can really see the difference. Because I know right now you guys are like, girl, there's no difference. Like, what are you talking about? You couldn't save your money. So these are what these two look like together. 
I don't know, Coco Naughty just wasn't like building up for me. Like, now that I'm looking at it, now that I just swatched it on my hands, Coco Naughty is darker than Trailblazer. This is Coco Naughty, this is Trailblazer. But I don't know, like, I don't know what was going on. So I like to use this elf brush, the 103 brush, you know, I just tap, 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 like so. And then what I like to do is I, I don't just go on blending. I like to boop, 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 boop. I like to, I like to pat it in first. Now, it's crazy though, right? Because on my hand, Coco Naughty is darker than Trailblazer. But I just, Trailblazer appears to be showing up better. So then we're going to just go and bronze up the skin. What I used to wear, I'll tell you that much. I really like this. I like Trailblazer. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go darker because if I went darker, it would have been too much for me. But she, this is what she's looking like. Boop. So next, I am going to go in with Sephora's Micro Smooth in the color tan. And I like to use the It's Cosmetic brushes for Ulta. And this is the brush 114. It is called Airbrush Essential Bronzer. So I like to just pat, 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 and then I fling. You gotta fling, okay? And then I just, I pat this on my skin. Tap, 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 fling. And I tap this everywhere to be honest with you. Tap, tap, tap. Alright. So we are done with the powders now. No, we're not. I lied. We're not done with the powders. We still got this blush. Now, guys, please forgive me. I do not really know how to put on blush. Um, so I'm going to do what I see uh, people do. Alright, um, this is a little light um, for my liking. Uh, to be honest, it looks like <laughs> it really looks like a, hide a highlighter, like a pink highlighter, but I don't know. So last but not least, I am going to go in with my So last but not least, I am going to go within my Fenty Diamond Bronze. Um, I have both of them. I have the Fenty Glow, and then I also have the How Many Cards? What? Okay. Let's reduce. So I have the Fenty Glow, and I also have the How Many Cards. So what I like to do is I like to go in with the Fenty Glow. That's what she looks like. Very beautiful. And I'm going to take this side. I do use the same brush. I know. I'm really being a bad girl, but. Shade Tino. Line her up like so. 
This is the back side for Fenty Glow. I use the front side for this one. I mean, it is a little dirty, but you know, it gets the job done, so whatever. And this one just adds like a more glittery look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like to put this everywhere. Boo boo. Boo boo. Boo boo boo. Boo boo boo. You guys can't really see it on camera but oh you kind of can okay go ahead on and use the morphe continuous setting spray i'm going to do a light mist with this we're not going to go in too much yeah that's just what i do all day by um by charlotte tillsbury and hands down if you have oily skin if you if you suffer from your makeup always moving around on your skin and just getting everywhere like just on your shirt on your mask everywhere i would highly suggest you go and pick this up it is a little pricey from you know other setting sprays but i promise you it's worth the money this and that's not even drying it so let's check the eyelashes because you know my eyelashes are trash now oh the mirror's dirty oh it even got worse okay whatever my eyelashes are lifting but what's new i'm gonna use the nk auto lip liner in the color aa14 chuckle chuckle you can get this from your local beauty supply store in my opinion, it is the best lip liner. And I'm lazy with it. I don't like having to sharpen my lip liners. So that's another reason why I get this. So I've been asked a lot, like, do I overline my lips? And the answer is I do not. Um, normally, um, what I used to do is I used to, like, stop, like, right here when doing my lip liner. But now I just... I go like this. And I just get every nook and cranny up there by my uh, bow thing. Whatever it's called. I'm using this new color I got, which is called Honey Waffles. And this is what she looked like. I'm going to go ahead on and swatch her on my skin. Oh, that's pretty. She looks like that. And this is what we will be wearing for tonight. Now, I don't normally go for nude colors. If I do go for nude colors, I normally go for more of a on the pinker side nude or like um, mauve nudes. Mauve nudes, if that makes sense. Something with pink in it when I go for nudes. I don't normally go for like something on the brown side. So... We're gonna see how I like this. But oddly enough, on other people, I love the nude lip gloss look. Like, I don't know why, but I just do. But on me, I just. Um, yeah, um, this is a little different <laughs> than what I'm normally used to. Yeah, yeah, it's not the color. The color is a beautiful color, but I just like, I like a little pink. So I'm going to try and look a little pink in it and see if I Honestly, guys, this is not really my cup of tea. I 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really do not like this color on me, so we're going to uh, wipe her off. Now, will I wear this color? I'm not even gonna say no because I do have my days where I just want to put like on a new gloss, like a gloss that's like almost my skin color. It's just. It's just, oh, she is, hold on. And then I'm gonna go in with the original color I was gonna use, which is Mob Wives. Nothing against the waffle, honey waffle. She's just not the mood I wanted to do today. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I just love. I just feel like a nude, I mean, a lip look wouldn't be a lip look if you didn't lay your colors. So I'm going to go in with Fenty Glow and I'm going to add her on top. This is my favorite combo. Mm, 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 yes. And then we got to go in with the extra clear gloss. I am using Sephora's Gloss Bomb in the color Bomb Diggity Zero. That's a cute name. Go glossy or go home, honey. So, to stop it from getting on your teeth, you just do this little finger tip. And it won't be getting on your teeth anymore. So, of course, I look would not be complete before spring on our fragrance of the day. So the of course, the look would not be complete before putting on the fragrance of the day. So, the fragrance of the day is Juicy. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Juicy. Jimmy Choo, and it's called I Want Choo. This is what the bottle looks like, and this is what the packaging looks like. And it is a floral oriental or oriental floral. This scent does last a long time, I will tell you that. Um, I sprayed some of this on my wrist before getting in the shower, and I was rinsing my water. I had my arm under the shower water, and it was just, you know, rinsing it, rinsing it, and I could still smell it. I even took my hands and I went like this under the water and I could still smell it. So this scent is A1 like steak sauce. So go ahead on and get your hands on it. If you are able to go to the PX and get it, I highly suggest you go to the PX and get it because for two fluid ounces, it retails for $90 at Ulta and you can get it for $75 or $76 at the PX. So do go to the px to get your fragrances if you are allowed to and you can get on post because a lot of the scents retail lower than they do in stores and sometimes it's the same price but majority of times they retail lower at the px i'm mainly doing the wear test for the fenty eavesdrops to see if it's oily girl friendly and you know how it holds up um it's not hot outside today and it's not humid so it may not really be too much of a word test but i am going to be going out to a bar i am going to be out and about saying karaoke and stuff like that so yeah this should be interesting so please stay tuned and i'll come back with you guys later Peace. so i'm back it is now 8 45 i finished my makeup around like maybe three or four o'clock so it's been like around like four or five hours this is what my face look like I have like a dewy look almost it's not like oily or anything which is why I love the routine that I do have uh, as far as like prepping my skin for foundation and makeup and stuff like that because at the end of the night my face ends up looking like more dewy than it does oily whereas before I look like a complete beauty spot like I look like I literally poured baby oil on my face whereas now I have more like a dewy look now we do have to do one more wear test and that wear test has to be done 
during the summertime when it's hot, humid, and just uh, outside. So stay tuned for that video. I don't know why I'm posted because right now the weather up here is very bipolar. Like one minute is hot, one minute is cold, and right now it's cold. So my makeup does last longer in the cold. So right now she is oily, girl friendly. Um, I do like this routine. Like I, I like this routine a lot. I did try a lot of new products. And so the next thing I'm going to try out is Sephora. So Sephora's um, best skin ever is right here. So Sephora's best skin ever is the next thing I'm going to try out. So stay tuned for my next video.